The Black Panther Party for Self-Defense was founded in Oakland, California in 1966 by Bobby Seale and Huey Newton, two activists with Southern roots who had both been involved with the civil rights movement. The pair's political leanings allied more with the militancy of Malcolm X than the nonviolent methods of Martin Luther King, and a central pillar of their ideology was the necessity for their community to defend itself, bearing arms against harassment and brutality by the city's predominantly white police force. Rocking an eye-catching uniform of leather jackets, afros, and berets, the Panthers introduced new methods of community activism, most famously their free breakfast for children programs. The Black Panther studies came out saying that children that didn't have a good breakfast in the morning were less attentive at school and less inclined to do well and suffered from fatigue. I mean, there was all sorts of scientific reasons to have a good breakfast in the morning. And we just simply took that information and a program was developed serving breakfast to children. After my father came home from Vietnam and was discharged from the army and couldn't get work, we were going through a very hard time. Food was kind of, you know, uh, the, just the everyday necessities were, were hard. I was embarrassed to go. But when you went, you know, kids are all laughing. And then all of a sudden the stigma or whatever you thought was a stigma went away and really got to see that, yes, this is what the Black Panthers are. We were showing love for our people. You know, if you have a child, if you know that, hey, these men and women are gonna feed my child in the morning, that's a big deal. program actually really caught on. It served about 20,000 meals a week to young people in 19 different communities. So it wasn't a fly-by-night thing. It really actually was making a difference. Studies. Though the Panthers launched as a local concern, chapters soon sprang up nationwide against the backdrop of the era's burgeoning countercultural politics, a global confluence of anti-colonial movements and the toxic social and economic results of de facto segregation. The Panthers offered young, disenfranchised African Americans a sense of refuge and communal purpose and went on to inspire transnational organization globally from China to Canada to India to the Bahamas to Australia, to New Zealand, and even to Vietnam. Though the Panthers launched as a local concern, chapters soon sprang up nationwide against the backdrop of the era's burgeoning countercultural politics, a global confluence of anti-colonial movements, and the toxic social and economic results of de facto segregation. The Panthers offered young, disenfranchised African Americans a sense of refuge and communal purpose, and went on to inspire transnational organization globally from China to Canada, to India, to the Bahamas to Australia, to New Zealand, and even to Vietnam. Though the Panthers launched as a local concern, chapters soon sprang up nationwide against the backdrop of the era's burgeoning.